My name is Vikas Manya. I teach uh, in the School of Education at Azim Prindji University. Primarily, I teach courses uh, that deal with issues of um, marginalization and relevance of education. Require courses like uh, Political Economy of Education or even another course uh, which is called Quality Discourses in Education. In these courses, um, uh, we focus on uh, the issue of how marginalized communities um, experience education and what they get out of education, how the modern education is relevant uh, to the people at the margins, and, uh, and what can be done about it, how do we deal with that. Most of my uh, work has focused on this issue of marginalization in education, where um, uh, the key questions that I'm interested in is how different communities who are not mainstream experience education and what do they get out of it. Uh, my uh, doctoral work also focuses on um, communities, Adivasi communities that are, um, uh, you know, getting introduced to education uh, for the first time, the first generation learners. My uh, doctoral work is with two communities. Um, one is a, a, an Adivasi community in uh, Gujarat and the other one is in South Africa, uh, in Eastern Cape, South Africa. Basically, the kind of questions that I'm asking are, uh, what uh, do these communities get out of modern education? How does state see these communities and, and how, do, how does state organize education for these communities? And then what happens in schools and what are the outcomes of that? Uh, so that's the kind of uh, work I'm interested in. There are uh, other projects as well, you know, there is, uh, uh, this project around uh, school books archive that I'm working on, uh, where we are primarily interested in um, archiving school textbooks uh, for researchers and teachers as uh, references uh, that they can use for their own research or even as uh, pedagogical aids uh, for teaching. The greatest thing about Azim Plimji University is uh, the fact that it's a very diverse place. Uh, most of my students come from uh, extremely diverse backgrounds. And so uh, when I teach courses like political economy, uh, the class, the experiences of the class itself becomes a big resource for me. Uh, you have students uh, who are uh, from agricultural families, who are uh, or middle class urban families, or who have particular kinds of experiences. All this um, becomes a resource for me in the class. And, uh, by uh, ensuring that they share their experiences with each other, uh, the entire experience of uh, how different groups experience education comes to life. I try to relate this to the theoretical uh, concepts that we teach students and, and so it is a very interesting uh, combination of uh, trying to understand the theoretical framing of issues, but then looking at the real life experiences of the classroom and then trying to make sense of how this theory plays out in their life.